what what was it like then? Let's get the child childhood days, the school days, because these would be the days when uh, people were talking about the Dolby Spook, I suppose. Yeah. What do you remember of that? Well, I remember they were friends of my great grandfather's because they both came from Scotland. This is the family. The family, yes, and. Uh, Many a time, my uncle used to take me up to uh, the Irvings and have uh, a meal there. Of course, this was after the days of the Dolby Spook, they yeah. died down then. Yeah. But uh, in the village, uh, we always had to go as children. I had three sisters, the younger and I were, and uh, we always had to go to both the Methodist chapel in the morning and the church, St. James's Church, in the afternoon. I think it was to keep the peace. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Vari was always, uh, always came down, that was the daughter of Irving's, came down to church, and she used to always call down on Sunday afternoon for a cup of tea after church. And uh, she got very friendly with my sister. What was being said about the Dolby Spook, and, and how did it, st any idea how it started all that? No, well, uh, my grandmother told me that he came down, Mr. Irving came down to me great-grandfather's uh, farm at Balaquain because they were friends and said, well, he, like he's, uh, my grandfather's son was Uncle Willie. Mm. He, he did the farming with his, another, uh, his son, Walter. And he said, Willie, have you got a rat trap? He said, I've got a ferret or something in the house behind the board in the house. It was lined with a, a boarding, like a panelling. Mm. So he gave him a rat trap. Anyway, I think it was about a week or something after they said he came down. He said, will you catch that uh, polecat, whatever you had? He said, no, the blinking thing started to talk. So that's the first that I heard of it. Yeah. But anyway, now I can remember the boy, all these cars lined along the road, and I think the young chaps, you know, young farmers, I know, were playing jokes on them, stuffing potatoes up the exhaust pipes and things like yeah. that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But... Um, I think the local thought it was a bit of a, it was a hoax or something. Mm. I, I, none of them that I knew ever heard him, and I'd been up there for tea many times. I never heard him. No, but they did say that Vori was something of, an, of a ventriloquist. Yeah, that's right. It? They did say that. Yeah. She was remarkable in some ways that she could remember. If you asked her somebody's registration of a car, she could remember it. Yeah. Because mm. there weren't many cars about. There, no, there wasn't many cars. No. No, very near and far between those days. Yeah, yeah. yeah.